What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. As you can see, well, you might not be able to you see. Wait till we step out. You could have recorded with the back. A little better. What's good, YouTube? Back with another video. As you see, I'm in the car. And to your surprise, I met another car lot, man. I don't know if you can guess this one, but we here. Let's see where I'm at, man. Still can't guess. I'm in the car lot. We finna go and check out these cars. What car lot do you think I'm at, man? Easy to guess. This a BMW. Yes, sir. Uh, nah, we at, we just vlogging, but we out here to check out a home. I've been looking into the M2s and M3s, yeah. so I'm kind of debating between those, the RS3, and the Corvette. So I just been going a lot trying to get sold yeah, on which one. Out. So I've yep. got um, I've got an M3. I've got a 21 pre-owned M3. Okay. M2s. I don't have any M2s right now. They're just hard to come by. Right. Seems like everybody in the motor. <laughs> right. So That's what's going on. Come by. Um, but we can check out this M3 that I got inside. I also got an M8 if you want to check it out. Okay. And I'm Will, by the way. Okay. okay. I'm fine. Vaughn. Vaughn. Ramon. Yeah. Ramon. What is this right here? That's, That's, That's an M440. So. The M4 would be like the, the two-door equivalent to the M3. Yeah. That's essentially the little brother to that. So right. That's got the that's got the B58 V6, 382 horsepower, whereas the um, the M4 is going to have like the, the S58. Just more power. Yeah, <laughs> the same V, essentially the same V6 with more horsepower. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so that's so in, that's like a other option. It's just if they if you want to go that route. That's what I've been looking at in the 440s because they water. cheap. Uh, you can get, yeah, you can grab a uh, Sprite. Sprite? Water. 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 Corvettes, it's really like the Corvette tough, and then it's like BMW. BMW, BMW quality cars from A to Z is like that though. Like you ain't really yeah. going. Yeah. Which one? This one. This one. I think that might be the M8. If I'm not mistaken. Oh my goodness. Oh, I said you gonna. Re I, I already knew you. Knowing you, you gonna like the BMW. Look at look at the inside. Look at the look at the inside, fool. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, fool. This this one's 72. This one ain't number 72, bro. That's the that's a fine It's the competition too. This is so this is the M8. This the M8. This this one crazy. I don't even want to go M8. I'm going like M2. This the Cosmo. It's like a hundred thirty thousand dollar, hundred thirty forty thousand dollar car. How much y'all? Let me see how much the M8 is, man. I ain't even talking to y'all. It's so crazy. I'm just trying to see. Trying to take it all in, BMW really got it. How much that? Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be like more like a hundred. It's used? So it's brown. Okay. It's about it's a 150 car new. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um brown now. You know what this colorway called? So it's called frozen deep gray. No, frozen mine is deep. recording. This. No, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Frozen deep gray. Um so it's actually it's some year models, it's a, it's an individual color, which is like a five thousand dollar add-on. But this particular one, you can actually get it from the factory, um, and so it doesn't affect or delay any shipping or anything like that, which is cool. It's, it's tough to keep, tough to take care of, um, just from the aspect of like cleaning it. Oh really? Like that. Yeah. You get so, dirty, show dirt. Yeah. Well, it it doesn't. It actually hides dirt pretty well. Okay. The issue with it is like washing it. So when you wash it, you need to wash it with like hand. You need to hand wash it instead of running it through a car wash or anything like that. Uh, just because if it swirls or scratches, you can't just touch it up like you could that car. Because mm. it's not, there's no paint out there, essentially like that. And then the same way with like buffing it. So if you swirl it, you really can't buff it out or anything. Man. Good one. So, that's so why I tell you, the two, man. Deep gray, that's, that's, frozen deep gray, that's... Frozen deep gray. Is it like a satin? So it's like a matte. It's a matte. It's, it's like a satin, like the colorway is kind of like a satin. But it's, the, it's really like a matte finish. The BMW just calls it frozen. So that's our term for that. Do BMW M3. Yes. Lie, it's my favorite car. That's what I'm trying to tell this, you. I like this more than I like the um, All right, the RS3. No, not even that. The Benz. Not the Benz. The, the Corvette? AMG. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. I like this it more stuff. than the AMG. But you thought you like this This over the Corvette? Nah. That's a, man, you can't compare this in no bro. To, to, me, like, to me, I like these over the Vets, man. When you go to technology, too, if you go inside this car, 
it get different. Check this out. It got ambient lighting slightly. Mm -mm -mm. It's only saving the two, bro. That's like wait. So, so this is 20, 21, 2021, um, yeah, and it's certified too. So if you look here, it's going to show you the original in-service date, um, or it's going to show you the the regular warranty expiration date, which is five eight of twenty five. Or 50,000 miles, but since it's certified, that essentially means that it's a top tier mechanical condition. So, for us to certify it, it can't miss a service at a BMW dealer. Um, and so, basically, like if it's had all the services done, but one of them was done at an oil express, something like that, we couldn't certify it. If it's had all the services done, or if it's missed one of the services, that's why I like showing it because they all, like with as far as like features and packages go, they all look the same. So, having a spec sheet just helps me show everything. So, this was pretty well equipped. Um, heated ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. Um, of course, you're going to have the head-up display, which is going to project the speed and the windshield. It's also going to project like navigation. So if we open up the map um, and you put you know directions in, so say you want to go you know to Publix, you would say directions to Publix, and as you're going, it would show you in your head-up display like turn left in two miles, turn right in a half a mile, whatever, anything like that. So it's, um, not, it's not Apple CarPlay; it's the BMW. It's uh, wireless, yeah. So you've got this is the BMW map. But you also have wireless CarPlay as well, okay, so you can connect okay. it like you're connecting to Bluetooth, and then have CarPlay connected. Um, it's also got the driving assist professional package. So what that is is that's your standard cruise control plus some. So it's essentially like you, it has your lane integrated cruise control, <clears throat> your lane assist and distance control. So if you are on a highway and you set your cruise at 80, somebody gets over in front of you going 60, it'll slow down to 60 and stay oh, behind right, them. Right. They get up out of the way and it'll go back up to speed. Mm -hmm. It'll also stay centered in the lane for you, so you keep your hands on the wheel. These lights will, will blink green um, or orange. If orange is like the negative, so if you're over the line, it'll start blinking orange. Um, but essentially, when these lights are green, that's when you know it's active. And basically, what it does is it it drives. I mean, you just keep your hands on the wheel and it does everything else for you. Um, it's also cool. It's got gesture control, so with the gesture control, you can actually let's see if I can do it. You can actually adjust the volume. I don't know if we can pick that anything up in here. Yeah. He, he did it without touching the screen though. Yeah, him. that would just happen. I yeah. blinked in the middle of that. Yeah, it popped up soon. And he so, was doing yeah, it. you can take my hand up. You mm -hmm. can adjust mm -hmm. the, the volume. I'm telling you, this thing got some features in it, bro. This thing got some features. And he paid $33 for a dry ass pretzel and some water. We come it's back. crazy, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> yeah. What is it? That what I'm gonna, What is this? This back seat. So that's a that is just a, an insert. I guess the previous customer had it. So maybe somebody sat behind them and they just clipped it in, so they just stayed, they kept their neck. Oh, right, you like know they were sleeping oh. or whatever. It, was. Um, it just kept them, kept them in there. Um, so yeah, these are these are super cool. You got all the drive modes. So like if I select M mode, it'll allow me to select road, sport, or track. Track essentially deactivates everything. It may not let me select it right now. Um, because we're sitting but it will essentially deactivate the screen like it'll turn everything black except for the speedometer um, and that just that enters f full track mode so if you're going to track it race it track mode is the best option also the most dangerous option because it cuts <laughs> traction control off things like oh, that yeah. yeah so and there's a setup button that you can adjust where you can move everything over so if you want to have sport plus on the engine and the chassis um, and then you know sport or comfort in either of these two you can set it up that way and then you get the two m buttons so the m buttons adjust to that so it essentially is specified for any settings that you like so if i push m1 they had it set to where engine and chassis were in sport oh, okay, everything okay. else is in comfort m2 there's not set up but you could do you know engine Whatever. sport plus or however you wanted to customize it you could so adjust you get it two separately. Custom, uh, yeah you get two of them mm. and so you can customize it separately and then if I push it again, it just goes back to the standard mode, which is cool. Active exhaust, so you can see it's on now. So essentially just makes the exhaust a little louder. It opens up the exhaust flaps. Not a huge difference, um, unless you got an aftermarket exhaust, um, but it still uh, makes the exhaust a little bit louder at auto end and when you're really getting into it. Mm. Yeah, these are, these are crazy. Carbon fiber trim, which is awesome. So you've got it mm -hmm. here, here, and then the paddle shifters are carbon fiber as well. Um, and then I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the interior colors. I saw you say, heard you say ambient light yeah, a minute ago. Yeah. Oh, so if you were to turn yeah, it up, you know, and I wanted to go blue. I could go blue. Um, and I'll show it here. You got it on the doors, you got it up top. Um, you got it in the back as well. Mm. I'm gonna go purple, I could do purple. I'm gonna pop it go up. Go purple. It's crazy. It's cool. 
Yeah, you know, you got some features. What's the what's yeah. the maintenance on these things? That's what that's the yeah. big red flag. That's the biggest thing. About. So with this, maintenance is going to be the most with M cars, mm -hmm. just in general. So this is an M car, so naturally it's got bigger brakes, carbon ceramic brakes, things like that. Um, your biggest more expensive item is going to be when you get your brake pads and rotors done so it's not you're not going to do that very often unless you drive really hard which i that's what i would do um, <laughs> but you know your standard standard services are not going to be anything crazy what i tell people is when you get m cars to buy the maintenance package so you can buy a maintenance package that covers all of your services out to 100,000 75,000 100,000 miles hmm. you pay for that i don't know how much it is on this car but you pay for that and every time you bring it in for service, it's covered. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, if you don't, <clears throat> I, I is think... It, is it pricey or is it kind of reasonable? Well, I think oil changes... I Don't don't quote me on this. I think oil changes are in the $250 realm. <laughs> um, it's every 10,000 miles is when you do it or okay. once a year. So... Oil changes... Okay. Yeah, yeah every, exactly. So, though. the thing is, like with our normal cars, like if you get an X5, you're going to be looking at 180 bucks or so to oil change. But you're doing it every 10,000 miles or one year. So if you compare it to a non-luxury brand car or American-made car that gets it done every 5,000 miles right. and they spend 80 or 90 bucks, you're really in the, same, you're in the same boat. Yeah. So your biggest, your big ticket services are what cost you more: brake fluid service, spark plug replacement, brake pads and rotors. That's what okay. costs you the most. And, um, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know brakes, and that's pretty much regular regular maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. You know how much the brake um, replacement would be cost? About thirty two hundred. Just to put it. Hold on for the brakes and the rotors, or just brakes and brakes? rotors. Yeah. Okay, that, front, I mean front and back. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. that's kind of a lot, but that's still for the rotors too. Yeah, that's everything. Mm. Man, this this that's why I was telling you though. Like when you come to be, they get you get more features with the style though like with corvette you're not getting as many features yeah with the with the r i ain't really seen the audit but they don't have as many features from what i've seen mm -hmm. on, on youtube yeah, you gotta see that audit, though. I ain't been one yet. yeah, yeah they're so, not, those are nice too so if you had to decide between a m or the m440 out of two well they got now two two 240 you can get m240 a 240 yeah. what you what you what you choosing price range value so maintenance for me obviously the m3 is I mean, it's an M3, so it's bad. I love the M340. So M340. the M340 is the little brother to this. Um, you still get almost 400 horsepower, which is plenty of horsepower around here. Because um, there's not too much we can do with it around here because yeah. we got so many p people. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, the M340, sure. as far as an affordability aspect of it, maintenance, kind of the whole thing, it makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. You can get an M340 for mid 60s, brand new. Right. So if you're looking at like, a brand new one, these are going to be mid to upper 80s. Do we want to jump up to the 80, 90s, or do we want to stay low 60s and sure. just kind of enjoy it and just trade out in a year? You so know the biggest thing is going to be like comfort. The M340, as far as comfort goes, is going to be a little better. This is a race car. Right. So it's going to ride like a race car it's going to be a little rougher than what an m340 is you got super low profile wheels and hot and big tire or super low profile tires and hot big wheels whereas the m340 is going to be more they're going to be sport wheels but they're going to be more all season whereas these are going to be i mean they're they're uh, they're going to be sport yeah. you know run flats yeah. non-run flats so um you're going to get a little bit of better ride quality out of an m340 naturally than this uh, because this is made to this is made to race it's made to track um but you're still going to get pretty good power out of the M340 or the M440. And does it have a um, turbo? In yeah. The yeah. So it's a V6 uh, twin power turbo. So it's a twin power turbo is essentially a single turbo that acts as two. Basically, mm. is kind of the simple way to put it. Um, yeah. the, and what is um, horsepower? 382. Is what you tune it. You probably have 400. Plus, yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of people tune it. Uh, there's a company called Dynan that does mm -hmm, a lot yeah, of tunes. So Dynan does a lot of stuff for BMW, and a lot of people get for. 50 plus out of them without having to change any internals kind of keeping yeah, everything stocked yeah. so a lot of people get get a lot of power out of them put exhaust on them uh put coal overs and lowering springs things like that and they look really good you got one here uh yeah i got a white one down here the look good. Yeah. how much do um new tires on these car on this one Kyle? Woo! uh <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're gonna be looking. You're probably looking at six to eight hundred a tire. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Um, so the M340 is out all the way on the very end. It's white. Okay. Under that tree, I would probably keep me chalking. Uh. I'm trying to tell you, but that might boy. be the way to go in. But that yeah. you know, the M3 is really like if you really in the cars, you really know about these sports, then you go scrape the M3. But like we new to this, so it's like, yeah. why not go a little less? 
save a little money and then and just Dan jump just, up there. And Dan jump, yeah. Appreciate it. So this is the um 440 i which is a little bit more expensive. But see, I already go 240 or two something or the 440, and like we getting a deal, like we almost be just go ahead and cop two of them. Cause if somebody cop this, they probably gonna keep it. But we gonna decide no, if we, no, we no. could. BMWs is from, from my knowledge and like how much this stuff cost BMW. No car you really keep. Mm, it's you one you keep in the warranty. Yeah. You just keep upgrading. Cause I'm not keeping no car when you talking about. Oh, that junk cost that much to saying? replace and junk. You gotta bring it back here to replace it. Hopefully you wouldn't. You stay somewhere where they got a BMW. Most people go straight to BMW to get it replaced. So like when you get a BMW, you probably coming straight to the lot. You know what I'm saying? Where the sixty thousand dollar range, we can afford one of those a piece. You know what I'm saying? You get up yeah. to the seventy, eighty. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But the BMW is crazy. But, so, but this a is this a a better trade in type of car? They hold a value. I'm after we come. They hold a value because when I be looking at the older year models, that model new. It's like he said, eighty thousand dollar car. That cost seventy thousand. It's yeah. a twenty twenty one. We talking about twenty twenty fives. Yeah. Worth eight. It's ten thousand dollars in the what? It got thirty two thousand miles on it. How many years is that? Another yeah. question. What's the what's the um depreciation on? It seems like they hold their value from what I've been seeing. So the M threes definitely hold their value the best. They're just more rare naturally, so they're gonna hold their value better. M twos are probably our number one car mm -hmm. uh, as far as BMWs go because they. Took them away for two or three years and then they just brought them back this year and so they came and people are holding on to them. a lot of people when they first came out were selling them mm -hmm. buying them and selling them and making, making ten thousand twelve thousand dollars oh. um the m340s do pretty well uh as well so they have the b58 like i was mentioning earlier it's kind of our tried and true v6 engine so it's been our most popular Hello. engine ain't um what that what that red car is m440 so, so this, this yeah same car different oh. color yeah, 440. Oh, it got different um, mirrors on that too. Yeah, so that's a 2020. Uh, that's a 2024 LCI. So oh. what they did is they call it LCI Life Cycle Impulse, and so essentially it's an update. So halfway through the year, actually they just came out with the updates. It may be a 25 model. They came out with the updates: tail lights, headlights, mirror caps, uh, front and interior is just a little bit different. They oh. upgraded a little bit. So that's why you see, like, if you look at the. This is BMW too, bro, boy. I ain't gonna lie. It's a different, it's a different money breaker right here with these. I had a guy the other day that said, I think this is one of the most reliable engines that's ever been made. So, oh. um, they do a really good job. And this is the B58. So this is, oh, is actually, it? yeah, this is a service loaner. Okay. So it was, in, it was a service loaner stat, so it's got a few miles on it now, um, but it's still gonna be sold. It'll be sold as a new one. Um, I don't know if it'll be sold as certified, but it'll be sold as new. Right, with the cool red interior. See, this one ain't, it don't, it don't, it don't, the first look, it don't be as angry as that M3. Sure, yeah. but it's definitely just as nice. Yeah. Though. With that huge screen in the front, that's the yeah. what this That's is. a new screen, so it's a 24. Okay, yeah. So the new, when they went to the 24 model, they got a new screen. Some is 24, unless it's 24. It's hard. Oh. Then they got the. This one, let me look it up. I can see. Hey, we just missed it. I can't count, but in that color, we just selling it. But this one's tough too, though. But but it's fucked up. It's it's bad because we went to see the M3, then we came to see this one. But see, I'm a I'm going two though. See, you might want to go three though. Three though. I mean four though. I don't know three though. Fifty eight nine. Yeah, nine, bro. Now you get to like. That sound good. Y'all hear that now? That sound good. Let's see. Let's see this. Huh? Oh. Uh, I'm getting on your side. What's the view got on? Yeah. No, so this is gonna have ambient lighting as well. So they're pretty much all gonna have them now. Um, the biggest thing that you'll notice, obviously, <clears throat> is the screen. <clears throat> so the screen, this is the upgraded screen. This is uh, this is iDrive 8. So the new new ones have iDrive 8.5, which is a little bit different. Uh, but it's the same kind of concept and screen. So obviously, much bigger. So you're getting a lot bigger of a display. Still going to get all those features. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that are wireless, things like that. Um, which are cool when they connect. 
um, but you're just naturally gonna get a bigger screen that's a little more customizable so like if you look back here I can select this button and it allows me to adjust the content that I see behind uh, and then the head-up display and then if I take it out and put it into comfort I can adjust the layout so if I want to adjust to a wide layout I can do a wide view layout close view layout and then I can do the one side of layout which yeah, is cool. do classes on these cars yeah yeah oh, a lot of training man. a lot of training it's a lot it's a lot um, I'm lost already. Like I'm like getting a new phone or I something. Know. It's a lot. Yeah, we have to stay stay up to date on everything. You can customize these as well. So fold it down. I can scroll through and adjust if I want to move it somewhere else. I can mm. do that as well, which is neat. Man, that's the car right here. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, you can, oh it's oh, cause the doors. Oh mm -hmm. wow. She shows you everything. Yeah, wow. It's cool. Isn't it? Crazy. And they closed the door. Yeah. Mm. God, it's crazy. Technology, man. Only thing about this one, this one looks more regular. Yeah, yeah, it will. So gonna, the, in the M4, the, in the full 40i, what those price ranges are? Uh, they're gonna be similar. You're gonna be upper 60s, new. Like this, since this was a service owner, it's got. Um, 6,300 miles on it. Oh, okay. So, um, it's, that's why it's discounted to 58.9. But I think it was probably new. This one's probably, I don't know. It still ain't bad though, because if I go wrap it, put some yeah. little this and that on it, you're talking about a standout car still. Though. Yeah, oh yeah. A lot of people do that. A lot of people get the 340s, wrap them, do whatever. Like I said, they put lowering springs, coilovers on them, and it makes it look, just look a little beefier when it's a little lower to the ground. Looks good. Put exhaust, sounds good, tune it. And everything we've been looking at, saving deal on the really home. Yeah. Man, it's tough. It's tough. Some yeah. nice cars out there, man. Yeah, that M3 cool. harder than that. Oh, that M3 might. The inside harder than the Corvette, but it's the to outside. Me, I liked it. it. The only thing about the Corvette it just gives you that supercar super. look. Sure. Look. Yeah, that's kind of what how they designed it. Mid engine, supercar look. Looks like a Ferrari. Yeah, but this right here, you're getting the full package, man. Like, you're getting the inside and the out. Yeah. This is right here. Yeah. Cup holders, Football. USB Type A, 12 volt USB C in here. Okay. And you got two USB C's in the back. It's oh. tough, man. It's tough. Yeah. I'm leaning toward being, I've been leaning toward being a baby since you've been looking. Though, yeah. <laughs> this, this, is my, this is our first time actually even seeing one. Checking though. them out, yeah. yeah. What's your best two door you like? Ooh, best two door. Um, it's kind of tough. Um, I like the M440 for what it is, how much car you're getting, the price, and stuff like that. Uh, it's super nice. Um, I mean, obviously, I like the M2. That's just all. That's kind of why I'm leaning, but that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot to be my first car. It is. Uh, what the M2 is? Yeah, man, you can so, so much power. So, so the M2 more different. than the M3? Mm -hmm. Like, if you get no, they go up M2, M3, and four, okay. and yeah. five. Is, so uh, that's the new, new, new body of the two series. The one on the end here. Mm -hmm. So like an option, maybe it would be like an M240. So it'd be the same engine and that car. So you're okay. getting a smaller car with a bigger engine. That's the. So oh, what is this right here? That's the 230. That may be an M2, M240. Hang on. They got a lot of options. It's like a lot of. You can really get exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. Two you want though. Power, you want a little less power. You want two though, four though. This is a 230. Okay. So this is the four cylinder version of the M240, but the looks are going to be the exact same. Um, so you can get an M240 that looks like this, but still has the V8 and the V6 in it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I might just go in here and try to find you a 440. You were saying 340 at first, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Th uh, I thought that was your, uh, some funk with an eye in it. Yeah, yeah, the 440i. Oh, you're right. leaning toward the 440i? Uh, they are eyes, right? So they are, yeah. Until you get to the M, they're technically still eyes, but they don't say I on the M. Right, okay. Um, in my opinion, anything with a 40 is going to be like, that's your best bang for your buck. Okay. Because you're still getting a lot of power, still getting a lot of customization where you can do stuff to it. Like we were talking about with that. 
Uh, so like the M340, M440, I think those are the M240, those are the best bang for your buck as far as packages and features. And the 440, what's the, what's the price range? Can you get in the 65 range in that? We can get close. We can go look at this red one real quick and see what it's at. I don't, I haven't seen any of the new, this is the first new one that we've gotten in. Yeah. So I don't know what, how much the price increase is. Look at that color. So bro. used definitely. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But used. it's hard to get new used stuff? Uh, not super hard, it's just more difficult. Uh, but not, not impossible. So you can get used ones before, before it's big. The value holds so much time. If I said if I get this for a year, mm -hmm. I trade up. I ain't I ain't gonna be just playing myself. Is no. So naturally, I mean. So here's what here's what I would do. If you want to use it, if you want to keep it for a year, and trade it. I'll lease it for a year. Lease it for a year and trade it. Because what you have, what happens when you get high end cars, really any car in general, it's gonna take its biggest hit in the first year. That's just how it goes. So that's its biggest depreciation when they say it pulls off a lot and it takes ten thousand dollars to hit. Naturally, first year is going to take the biggest hit, and then it kind of levels out a little bit. It'll take a hit until year three or so, um, but your biggest hit is going to be your first year. So, what we see a lot of people do is lease because it's safe and secure. So, if you lease a car, you have a residual value that's locked in when you buy the car. So, when you initially say the car's for sixty thousand dollars, the residual value may be. $25,000 or $30,000, whatever it is. At the end of the lease, that essentially acts as your payoff. So if you were to want to buy the car, you can buy it for that amount. If you're in a position where the vehicle is in an equitable position, so if you have equity in the car, you can trade, use that as a trade and trade it. If it's not in an equitable position, your car is worth $15,000, but your payoff or the residual is $30,000, you can just turn the keys into BMW and be done with it. So we're seeing a lot of people leasing because it's a little more safe. Y'all do the year lease? Yeah, we do one year. Um, we can do, uh, I'll take that back, we do two years. We do two oh, two years, two years. So this one is, this one's 69.9. So it's 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 pretty well equipped. It's got premium package, driving assist package. Um, and so driving assist is 1500. I would recommend for sure getting the driving assist. Um, premium package, I would probably recommend it. It may not be a huge deal. You can get it without the premium, but you can add like heated seats and heated steering wheel. It's not a big deal. Um, but it, the more packages you have, the value is going to be a little better down the road because it's going to be people are people are going to want to buy a car that's got premium package rather than one that doesn't have. It, you know what I mean? So it, down the road, I always like looking down the road because if the car doesn't have heated seats, it's not going to help you when you trade it in because everybody gets heated seats now. You know? Yeah. And this is this how much? Sixty nine nine seventy. Seventy. And that's an M brand new though, right? Uh -huh. You see the taillights. See, see how the taillights compared to like the one, the gray, dark gray one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, the new, new taillights. Oh, so much. A lot. That's the cool thing about BMWs, they're so customizable. Um, like, literally almost limitless options that you can do. Um, if you want to, like, if you wanted to upgrade it, the paint from the factory, like, if you wanted, wanted to pay, if you were to order it and be like, okay, I'll pay $5,000, I mean, there are two or three hundred options for colors you can choose from. Um, which is cool. You drive BMW? I don't, so I drive old Jeep, country. Man. I, <laughs> I hunt fish and do all that. So yeah, yeah, I had a BMW, I had a 3 Series, and uh, set the house. I was making a payment on it, driving my Jeep. Yeah, like that Jeep, dude. What's yeah, the point, huh? point in it? Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I don't have a BMW right now. I may, well, I think when everything settles down, I may lease some. Yeah. So is it? What's? The, so I've been hearing a lot of different. What's the real benefit of leasing, owning, if I want to keep it for a year or two and trade it in? Yeah. What you think? The biggest thing is like equity. Okay. So if you if you trade months. if you trade over two or three years, naturally you're gonna take hits when you trade your cards. Unless it was like it has been the last two years during COVID. The market was as high as it's ever been in history almost. And so car values were worth more. That would be the time when it benefits you to purchase a car and trade it in, in a year or two years. But leasing, like I was talking about earlier, it's kind of security. You don't have to worry about taking the hit. So that's the thing is if you finance a car at full price, don't put any money down, anything like that, you're going to take a hit because one, you got to add interest to pay off. So interest adds up over the term of the loan. Um, and so you don't have to worry about it with leasing versus financing. So it kind of just depends on, and you can look at both options. Yeah. So like if you, you know, we could look at, say you're like, I want to get this today. I could show you finance options. I could show you leasing options. We can compare payments, compare stuff like that. So mm -hmm. you just figure out what would be best for you. Go that route. And the limitations of leasing to what is, you can't wrap it? You can't, can't, yeah, really. I mean, you can do tent. Um, you're not really supposed to do much to it. 
it needs to be brought back in as similar condition as you got it essentially um that's the limitations you can't do a lot to it and you gotta just you have to make sure the vehicle's in maintained correctly right. good thing with bmws you get three years of maintenance so when you buy a new bmw you get your first three oil changes are free mm -hmm. so if you lease it for two years you don't pay anything in maintenance it's free the whole time, the you whole time. Yeah. 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 when you lease you get gap coverage included so are you guys familiar with what gap is no, so the way that it works is if you have an accident and it's deemed a total loss uh you're hit at the red light here you're t-boned and they total the vehicle out if you don't have gap and you finance a vehicle you're responsible for the amount that you own the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So let's say you owe $65,000. You're responsible for that amount. If you have an accident and it's a total, it's, and they make it, the deemed value is only $50,000, the insurance is only going to pay $50,000. So you <coughs> have to make up the $15,000 difference. So with leasing, GAP is included in the lease. You can, you can purchase GAP when you finance. You can yeah. finance it in and have it. I always recommend it, just from the safety aspect of it. Um, Leasing, it's included when you buy a lease. So if you have an accident, and even if it's not a total, if you have an accident, you're covered. Insurance covers it. When you turn it back in, you don't have to t worry about taking a hit. Whereas if you finance and you have an accident in the first year, you want to trade it in two years, you're going to take a hit because it's going to show that there's been an accident. Naturally, that means that the vehicle's not, you know, can't be. We can't give you full value um, as a perfect condition vehicle if it's had an accident. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with, with leasing and financing, is the price usually like close or Similar, same price, same? same exact price. Yeah, payments will depend a little bit, differ. Payments can go up or down a little bit, uh, but as far as pricing goes, it's going to be the exact same. The out the door number is going to change a little bit because the way the leases work, finances you pay your taxes up front, they're into the cost. Leasing they disperse your tax into every payment. Oh. So if your taxes are two thousand dollars, you're making twenty four payments. They divide that. Up into 24 different payments. And what about leasing to own? How that work? You know? So yeah, so there's not really a leasing to own, but that's where the residual comes into play. So okay, if you, you at the end it. of the lease, you can just buy it for what the residual amount is. Okay. okay. Man, it's a lot. I mean, lot. I'm sorry to give y'all a lot of info. Man. But you, I'll be going okay. kitchen. I'm kitchen. Oh my. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really like you're a really second the time best, hearing the it. Best salesman and you need head. So appreciate David putting his own game. Yeah. Yeah. We just they they pride us and making us making us very knowledgeable mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and another thing with us here at century is uh we just won uh the 2024 center of excellence award mm -hmm. so it's awarded to the top percentage of dealerships in the country so the top 40 dealers win it out of about 420 or so bmw dealers and so this bmw won center of excellence award last year um, and that's essentially finishing first in this class and everything mm -hmm. so we pride ourselves in that we try to make customer satisfaction our number one thing yeah um service department's really good so we've got a fleet of 38 service loaners um and uh and essentially you set up an appointment we ask that you call seven to ten days out set up an appointment we got a vehicle waiting for you um oh, it goes oh, back to service yeah, yeah yeah it goes back to service um and uh the technician or the the advisor will actually take a video of the car just confirming the condition when it arrives they'll go back to the shop the technician will be working on it he'll take a video underneath your car and that was texted to you so while you're while they're working on your car you actually get a text message. It's a video, and they say, "Hey, this is such and such with Century BMW. Just want to show you your car. <laughs> your brakes are in your good condition. Your tires are in good condition. Looks like you may need a brake fluid service in 10,000 miles. Man. They'll send it to you. Park it's out of the service. They'll clean it up if you want it cleaned up. They'll take another video, confirm it's in the same condition. Man, they go all the over here. They do. They yeah. go all the. They go. They go <laughs> above and beyond, which is good. That's what yeah. gives us such good reviews if you look us up on google i think we're at 4.82 out of five stars can't believe this car bro that's like i said that's not 70 versus what 65 maybe yeah yeah that's used 2021 you're going 24. Yeah. you're kind of in the same ball depends, on what, you, depends on what you're looking for yeah, that's what it comes down to uh depends on what you want if you want something that's fast like if you just want fast the m3 you know what I mean? That's whatever I want, so, but I, I, I ain't so what you been say, in it to really just know. Yeah. Yeah, to my scene. What'd you say the hardest? This one? This M440i M4 or the M3? Oh, you're going M3 out there. M3, there. M3. <laughs> oh, Dave. You can't beat it. And this a what year? 25? Let me see. 25. I, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like that 2021. 25. Yeah, 21's playing. I kind of like 2025 BMW? That's a 2025. What you call it though? It ain't even 20. It's a futuristic car. Certified? 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 But 
But to be certified, I had to more than likely find it at a uh, BMW. BMW. You got to find it at a BMW. Right. And I, I'll tell people this too: if you buy a pre-owned anything luxury, it doesn't matter if you go buy a Benz, Acura, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I always tell people buy from the dealership that sells it. So even if you're buying a Nissan, buy it from there because when they're going through service, you're getting certified technicians that are certified for those cars. You're getting those OEM products and parts. So they're putting BMW filters on it. They're putting BMW oil in it. Whereas if you buy it from another dealer or somewhere that's, you know, a corporate dealer, whatever it is, it's not the brand. They're just putting, more than likely, just putting aftermarket things on it. So in the grand scheme of things, it helps. When you see a lot of BMWs that have oil leaks and stuff like that, that's what it pertains to is they're going to AutoZone and they're getting Wix filters and putting them on them rather than the BMW OEM filters because yeah, so they're not made for the car. You go lose you, you got to go to the dealership. Yeah, yeah. Dealership. pay more money and get a better experience. Yep. If you take care of the car, it's going to take care of you. Mm. you see, it's on here. <laughs> take care of the car, take care of you. Man, that's yeah, we need a oh, car, man. We definitely got to yeah. tap in on... Um, really? Let's see what this I'm is. I'm looking to purchase mm, August, December, yeah. So M6, M60, man, these cars, BMW. I will say BMW got the hardest cars we done seen. Ready whenever you are. Oh, Ultra, Ultra cell. Oh, 251. I like, I like seeing them. I like seeing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I said we're gonna go see the shop. This is hard, bro. I'm telling you, BMW might. They might have. Just being here with them being the best BMW, it might be the best route to go. No cap, though. No cap. <laughs> Take care of our car. That makes sense, though. Yes, it does. I'm gonna grab a car while we're heading out here. Alright. That's it. That's the, yeah. Shit. That M3 is crazy. It's clean. Yeah, that's Man. that's tough. I like that color. That's that's really my, my favorite color I've ever we, seen we, on a car. Yeah, so this is parts. So if you get the car and you come in, you need to get in. Rest thing that's in the M3. See how those are? Okay. Kind of the same, same thing. So you'll come here to get all this. Key covers, anything like that. Valve stem covers you can get. So they actually make spinning center caps so they're called floating oh, center crazy. caps so they always stay the upright position which is cool a lot of people get that so that everywhere that you drive no matter where you stop it's in the yeah, bmw's up top yeah mm -hmm. so this is the shop where you're going to pull everything in you got two automatic mm -hmm. doors um they're going to call you when you got services so it notifies them they call you and say hey time, time to get your oil changed on. they'll schedule it and get it all done we got five advisors that are back here um, refreshment counter back here, and then y'all follow me here if it's Man, a lot. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is hard, fool. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, so this is, this is where everything Super happens. Clean, Super clean. So what we do is we have big brunches, big luncheons, things like that. We host them all back here um, because of the cleanliness. Um, when the cleanest, when the dirtiest place in your dealership's clean, it means your dealership's doing a good job. What you say? That's what I'm thinking. We always want to show everybody the facilities so that you can see the cleanliness. And but how, this, how it is. this a um. Okay. Y'all don't have no um that track thing, but they put it on there and see the horsepower. Y'all had it. No. The tuner. Yeah, the tuner. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. The dyno machine. No, we don't. And so we've got. You see all the technicians that we've got. All of our banners represent our technicians. Oh. Um, so these like they workstations. Yeah. Or? Exactly right. Yeah. Oh, wow. We've got five or six. Uh, BMW master technicians, which is which is a huge deal. Um, to become a master, these guys, have, you know, these guys are working and testing for three or four years to become master techs, and we've got five or six of them. Man, I don't know, mom. You're selling it, ain't it? Oh no, yeah. mom. You might got it, man. You might got me. I'm gonna buy one. Man, yeah, the full experience. Full experience, wow. But this is how you're supposed to get treated, man. This is how you sell cars, man. It makes <laughs> sense. Yeah. 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 Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. You might have saw me. I might go straight BMW and forget the Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna vets, lie. Vets I, are cool. Um, I mean, they're vet. They're cool. Yeah, vet. it's a cool, cool. vet. Really, just, just the new ones, for real. Yeah. With the new body style, the only yeah. one I really like. Just but I ain't gonna lie, though. Super. I get this over the vet because I, I, I like you. me personally. I like the inside way too much. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. And the man. colorways just, is crazy. Just, you're getting this one. You're getting 504 horsepower yeah. in that 500 504. This and is hey, the comp spec. The tune. Yeah, no, that's with nothing on it. <laughs> so this is the comp spec. So you get a little bit more. The standard ones around 490 or 473, okay. something like that. You're getting a lot either way. 
Um, BMW actually downgrades their horsepower and torque a little bit, so they're a little. People say they're a little bit quicker than they actually are. Mm. Man, man, this my yeah, hard man, fool. This my favorite car BMW ever, fool. I thought my dream car was an AMG. It might be BMW now. Uh, I see anything. I'll reach out. If you see anything, reach out. Um, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too, man. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Sure, sure. Keep looking online, and what I would do too, if, you, if new is even an option, like an M340, so you can go to BMWUSA.com and you can build it, spec it out. It shows you the pricing of the colors. It shows you pricing of the features and everything like that. So you can spec it out and look at it and see how it is. My favorite color is Drive It Gray. Mm. Drab, Drive It. Drive It. Check it out. It's that color right here. Oh, this. So is yeah, it's actually this color. So. It's got a gold undertone metallic, so when the sun's on it and the sun hits it, oh, feel that gold. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> on the three shoes, it's cool. Oh my yeah. goodness, fool. Man, I ain't even see that. That's, That's cool. not real. It's cool, man. You're like a dragon on Mm-hmm. It's fine. Man, I appreciate Jeez. it, man. Thanks, fellas. Y'all hey, have a good night. Uh, I'll you reach too. out in a couple days, okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I was trying to tell you, I had to bring it to the BMW, man. You right, man. fool. You right, bro. I don't even want to see <laughs> that why, no more. Why you keep telling, why you keep, I keep telling you, when the air time, you want a Corvette, check out the BMW, you gonna like the BMW. No, I don't even BMW. want, I don't want the Corvette no more, that bro. BMW don't worry about it. it. That BMW don't worry about it. it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Don't worry about it. I'm telling you, the BMW got it. All that maintenance that I'm paying for, whatever it is I'm paying for. Don't worry about it, man. You might have heard it here first, YouTube. Hmm? You might have heard it here first, you two. <laughs> BMW. It might be the way. It might be the way. I'm like, trying to that, tell like, you. I said my dream car was like the AMG, the Benz AMG, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. That M3, way harder than that, that AMG. Bro, you can't lie, though. If, 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 if you had a choice to pull up in that BMW right there, or a Corvette, fool, even though they both, you got... Tough. Once you soup that BMW up, you can almost be just as equivalent, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Because you get in that, you get in that BMW, it's a life, like it's a whole experience in that mug. And the outside fire. So you get in the Corvette, you just enjoying the outside. The outside you know what I'm saying? So and you can't really you, get comfortable in no Corvette. For nah. Real. And you inside the car. You are the one who be inside the car. So like, you see what I'm saying? Like that's why I keep yeah. leaning away from Corvette. The outside it might look cool for for y'all, man. Y'all might like that. That BMW cost. But if we're doing POVs. Y'all gonna like the inside of that car, fool. Hey, that um, that um, who was Audi? Audi, oh, let me see what kind. You gotta go look at it. I think they might have closed. They so might close closed it. at seven. That's what she told me. Oh yeah, it's probably over. We had to go another day, man. We'll probably catch y'all another day. Go and look at some more cars. Look at some. We're about trying to get a cop. Might get fun. Let's, you know, we might look at some furniture. Furniture. But uh, the BMWs might be away, bro. We caught two BMWs. Gonna look way harder than that oh, Corvette, though. I can't lie to you, bro. That shit hard. We gotta, we gotta do some. We gotta do some numbers for yeah, sure. Everything under seventy, fool. You ain't like everything under seventy. We ain't talked about nothing over seventy yet. Yeah. That car just decreased in value. Been twenty three days. They already decreased about two thousand dollars, bro. That's a sin. Thought that and car Corvette, is seventy. They, and they, I can't lie, that car, that car might leave a car. I should ask if it was all wheel or rear wheel. You can look it up, bro. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna look it up right now. What that was, M3? M3 competition. M3. And then, uh. Competition. It's 70. The Corvette start out at 70 spec, like 68, like brand new. Before you add anything, get the time of the Corvette, 70. When you add, so the Corvette get up to 60, 76, 78. It's a MSRP 800K. Uh, 800K. I mean, I mean 80,000 trip. I'm saying what the word is no way over. 503 horsepower. What are we talking about? Eight speed. What are we talking about? Six cylinder. Oh, uh, it's all wheel or rear wheel. Zero to 60. I think an X drive is rear wheel, but man, but y'all seen them? But y'all seen them cars? Zero to 60. What is zero to 60? Nah, I'm gonna keep looking. What did it say? Three, three, four. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the, that's the BMW. Ooh. They move fast, fool. Ooh, is it a hold on? That's why I want the M2 because it's two though. But yeah, that, that thing right there's so slow. It don't even look that cool as it used to. This uh, that's just the LC. That's the one that was in the. That's the one that was no, in. No, it the wasn't. It's not that one. I used to always think that it ain't this one because we seen the Lexus one time. We seen the Lexus one time that was like super um souped up like a race car, but I never seen the Honda since, and it was a three hundred thousand dollar Lexus. Who be confused for that car you just seen? I think that's an LC five hundred actually. Furnace stove closed, G. Mm-hmm. Everything closed by eight. 
Can't do see them. Go back to the crib. What y'all want to see us do? Yeah, we'll probably see y'all probably see us another day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna keep it coming, keep it going, man. We are in the search for a car, so you will be seeing the car soon, man. We gotta find out. We're we kind of weeding out what we want right now. Choosing between these different uh, cars. BMW is number one right now, especially in Huntsville. We got the yeah, number one man. BMW dealership. That boy just showed up to everything. Y'all probably ain't even seen that. But, uh, yeah, man. We gotta find us a car. Got to. That, so that M3, on. that M3, or that, what that yeah, red with tough. It's just regular right now, but I can see that bit being so hard. And that's the only thing about leasing. I can't lease a car because I can't do what I want to. I need to at least go rapid. If you get the, if you get the M3 right there, you don't have to do nothing to it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Cause that paint job horrible. <laughs> you don't like that? It. No, I'm saying I need, that, that. That's a paint job that you may ride around for about six months, and you go rapid. And then you go, you pull it out, you ride around for nothing. Cause I ain't, oh. I'm not, I'm not that paint job, bro. It's over. Yeah, you mess it up, it's over. With. It's know, over. With. Somebody repaint that. You but yeah, man, we're gonna see y'all another day. Look at that girl coming to get her BMW. Oh, whatever she doing. Oh, whatever she doing. That clothes, babe. That clothes, babe. No, oh, <laughs> uh, first turn with man. Y'all be easy, man.